Hey, bring it up, man. Bring it up. Hey, listen here now. Every play in a game is a battle. Lots of plays. Lots of battles. Every game is a war. You win enough battles, you win the war. You win enough battles, you win the war. And you know the no which battle is going to be that defining moment. It's going to make that difference. So let's go out of the night. Think about one play at a time. One play at a time. If we win enough battles, we win that war. Let's go, baby. Win on three. One, two, three. Man. What's up guys, it's your daddy Vern with Sports Report and we're talking about Drew Brees today. Drew Brees earlier this afternoon found himself in a bit of a pickle with the LGBTQ community. So he found himself on social media defending his name. Um, apparently Drew Brees did a ad for Bring Your Bible to School Day and the company that he did it with, which is called Company, Focus on the Family. And this particular company has been known to have some anti-gay and anti-LGBTQ community uh, feelings. And so, you know, Drew Brees may have not done his research on this, but here's a video that shows, uh, here's a video of him actually running the ad. And then I'll also show you what happened when he tried to get his name cleared up. Hey guys, Drew Brees here. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we live by faith, not by sight. So I want to encourage you to live out your faith on Bring Your Bible to School Day and share God's love with friends. You're not alone. Not that bad, I would say. I mean, Drew Brees, known to be a Christian guy. He's done work with Ellen DeGeneres. Um, what was that cause that he done it on? I don't know, Stand Up Against Bullying or something like that. So Drew Brees, not a guy that really attacks groups like this, but found himself having to defend himself against that video. Bring your Bible to school day. He had to defend himself against that video. <laughs> then same thing about LGBTQ. All he said was bring your Bible to school, encourage your kids to do so. And so found himself in a situation where The Advocate, which is a big Louisiana-based uh, journalism news source, uh, they actually ran a report saying, you know, calling Drew Brees an anti-gay um, guy, you know, saying that he has hate for the LGBTQ community. And so he found himself saying this on social media. Hello everyone. There's been a lot of negativity spread about me in the LGBTQ community um, recently based upon a article that someone wrote with a very negative headline that um, I think led people to believe that somehow I was aligned with an organization that was uh, anti-LGBTQ um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I'd like to set the record straight. Um, I live by two very simple Christian fundamentals, and that is love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. I think the first one is very self-explanatory. The second one, love your neighbor as yourself. What does that mean to me? That means love all, respect all, and accept all. So that is actually how I live my life. That is what I try to do with my family, with my teammates, with uh, people in my community, with my friends, all people, no matter your race, your color, your religious preference, your uh, sexual orientation, um, your political beliefs, it doesn't matter. So the fact that these rumors um, have been spread about me are completely untrue. What I did was I filmed a video recently um, that was encouraging kids to bring their Bibles to school for National Bring Your Bible to School Day. To bring your Bibles to school, to be able to live out your faith with confidence, and I even gave one of my favorite Bible verses. It was as simple as that. So I'm not sure why the negativity spread or why people tried to rope me into certain negativity. I do not support any groups that discriminate um, or that have their own uh, agendas that are trying to um, uh, promote inequality, okay? so. Hopefully that has set the record straight uh, and we can all move on because that's not what I stand for. Uh, have a great day. That's it. That's the news that you're hearing about Drew Brees right now. Hopefully you can get it ready by Monday's game because we have the Houston, Texas, and that is a big, big game. Uh, definitely don't want him distracted on outside media, outside antics. Need Drew Brees' focus in his head in the game. 
But that's all I have for you guys. Get in the comments, subscribe, like the video, let me know what you think. Peace.